Hey everyone, this is Kirk here again at OptionAlpha.com where we show you guys how to make smarter trades. And tonight we're gonna go over all of the two trades, all of the trades, like all two trades that we had. But we are gonna cover the two trades that we had for today, which is Wednesday, November 5th. Um, fairly active day, I would say, as far as orders go. I had, I think, eight or nine orders working and, and only two fills. So, you know, it is what it is. We had some adjustments and rolls we were trying to get in, but just didn't get filled on them. Um, so a lot of uh, activity, just not a lot of results as far as trades, but that's okay. That's, you know, sometimes what happens. The first trade I want to go over tonight uh, real quick is the closing trade in COF, which is Capital One Financial. So for those of you who are on the alerts <coughs> and members, you saw in the comments and trade remarks that I've actually had this working order for about three days now at about 15 to 18 cents. And the market's been there the whole time. It's been trading there. The pricing of the options has been there, but I just haven't been filled. And, and I think it's just worth mentioning tonight because it's important to understand that, you know, sometimes you got to wait for your price, right? You can't chase the market higher, right? I could have easily put in a put in a bid for, you know, 20 or something like that and 20 cents and, and gotten out. But, you know, it's $3, whatever it is, but it's been there all week and just really hasn't filled. There's not been a lot of activity in these strikes for November. So we finally did get out of that trade tonight, took a nice little $50 profit on it. Again, it was an earnings trade from uh, from COF uh, earnings a couple weeks ago, and we just ended up trading the November options versus the weeklies. And it actually worked out for us really, really nice. Uh, if we actually go to the chart here of COF, and let me just bring up the implied volatility, you can see that we did have a very, very nice drop in IV following the earnings event, which is what we wanted, right? We wanted this drop in IV. And even though the stock really went kind of completely against one side of our position, it had decayed in value pretty much because of this drop in implied volatility over the last couple of weeks. So it really goes to show you that even though the stock can move completely against you with options, you trade the right strategy and wait and be patient with the trade, it'll end up being a nice little winner uh, in the long run. So there's a nice trade in Capital One, small but but good profit. The other trade that we got into today is in Solar City. So this is the first time that we're trading this. Very liquid, a lot of buzz about this particular stock and earnings. We decided to go ahead and sell just a one lot strangle in SCTY. And we did decide to do the weeklies, which are the Nov ones. And so if you have trouble understanding or want to know a little bit more about how weekly options are tagged in the system and in your broker platform. We did a take five video segment just a couple days ago talking about all of the different types of weekly options and how they're tagged. In this case, it's the November one, which is the first week of November. This is when they expire. So they expire Friday of this week and they're the weekly options. We went ahead and did the 60 call and the 46 put out of the money for a total credit of a dollar, which I think was a pretty decent credit. I would have liked to get a little bit more, but it was a uh, pretty pretty liquid markets as far as we're concerned. So here's the setup with Solar City. <clears throat> Stock has been pretty much in a nice little decline since the beginning uh, of October expiration, or I'm sorry, since the end of September expiration. And implied volatility has come off of its highs, but that doesn't mean that it can't again go lower once we see earnings. So we've seen this a couple times with Solar City where implied volatility is definitely dropped after earnings. So we're hoping that we get that same type of movement in IV right after the earnings event, which I believe they did announce later on this evening, uh, but I'm not sure about that. It hasn't really published in the system. But it's been on a nice little uptick since then, and today was a really wild day. It was down to near 50, and then it was back up to around 58 and kind of settled around 54. So pretty big swing, which really goes to tell you that we could see a nice little move uh, in one way or the other after earnings. Uh, but implied volatility is really good. And then trade liquidity is also very, very good for Solar City. So this is our position right here in the weeklies. And you can see that the markets are, are pretty wide. They have got a lot of strikes that have a lot of activity, not only in the volume, but also pretty decent open interest. I'm pretty sure that a lot of this volume that we see here today is not really reflected in open interest until tomorrow, right? Because open interest is a lagging indicator by one day. So we don't really get to see these figures until tomorrow. But judging by just how much volume is in both sides of the market, I think it's pretty liquid. I actually like the liquidity in the trade. 
And what we actually ended up doing was going out to about the 15% probability on either end. So just over a one standard deviation move on either end. So right now, at the end of the day, our put side came down to around a 13% probability and our call side went up to around 18. But at the time of this trade, when we got into both sides, we did get into both sides around a 15% probability. So that leaves us about a 70% chance of success on the trade. Now what's really interesting is that the expected move is a little over $5 and a quarter. So that's what the market is kind of pricing in as possibly a move here after earnings for Solar City. And so with our strikes, we're definitely well beyond that on both ends. So I think it's a good trade because we're, we're definitely outside of the expected move range and we're a little bit more outside the expected move range uh, than most people I think we're probably trading today. It seems like a lot of people were kind of trading right around 57, 50 or so and kind of making it a four or three dollar move on either end. If we actually go to the analyze tab, uh, I do believe that they did announce earnings because I see, and I just haven't seen the news article yet, but uh, the stock is trading down to 53 and a half right now. So if that is really what's the case, uh, then this ends up being a very, very nice trade for earnings uh, and nice little one lot should make a very decent profit tomorrow on the open. But that's pretty much it. Very quiet day as far as trades, which is sometimes nice, but I'm sure we'll have other days where we have lots more trades to talk about. As always, if you guys have any comments or questions about these trades or any of the other trades that we make, please ask them right below in the comment section. This is where you get insight and, and ask questions and get answers, right? There's no stupid question here. And oh yeah, if you're watching this video on YouTube or somewhere else online, you just have to understand that you're getting this video about 15 days after it's sent out to our members. So if you want these types of trading alerts and this video sent out every single night describing all of the trades that we made, you've got to sign up at optionalpha.com, start the free trial, see if it's something that can make you a better, smarter trader as you go through the market. Until next time, happy trading.